Hello, my friends, and welcome back to Tales of Zillia. We just went through the Nala tubes and uh, the Nala lava tubes, or you want to call it. And uh, last time we had Atma join me, and uh, it was it was an all-around good time. But for now, uh, we're gonna go ahead and just do it solo. We're gonna go to the Jalen Woods. <coughs> Might as well. I mean, I don't think we've been in this area yet. So, uh, the temple's just right over there, so, yeah. Looks like we have nowhere else to go but through the Jalen Woods, so let's go ahead and do that. I'm also still sporting the Stawn outfit. Eh, might as well. I don't want Mila to wear her other outfit just because of how ridiculously cold it is out there, so, yeah. I also have, uh, I also recently purchased a pop filter because I needed it for my microphone, like, a while ago. So, um, if I do sound a bit better... That's pretty much uh, it, I guess. Even though there, there won't be that much of a notable difference, um, I just <coughs> I just have it for the fact that it really helps with recording in case the microphone decides to pop randomly, and because nobody wants to really hear that. Distortion in the mic is really the last thing you want. For now, I'm just gonna go ahead and beat the crap out of enemies. I love that move. Such a good, such a good move. There we go. There we go. No one can stop me. Got a lot of experience. corrected. <laughs> but yeah, um. No, no more I could really say. I could fight the enemies here, but... I don't know. I think we're good on an EXP for now. Maybe I should have, like, did maybe a bit of off-screen grinding, but I think we're good for now. So, I'm not all that worried. Victory. There we go. Well done, everyone. <coughs> Can go fight another enemy and level up. You know what? Let's fight this dog. Let's beat the hell out of the doggies. Oh jeez, I need I need to like get something to stop my chair from moving around when I'm recording. Because I have to go a bit closer to the microphone. Uh, mostly just because I don't have my I I don't have my boom stand set up yet. So, but when I do, I'll be able to record better. In a way, I guess. <laughs> well, yeah. Of course, what am I saying? Moon Sand is going to help significantly because the swivel arm allows me to be able to be a, bit, a lot more closer to my microphone in terms of recording instead of having to like put it on my desk. Um, makes it a bit easier for me to manage it, should I say. Of course, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, get this stuff. I don't know if I should be fighting any more enemies, though I think it would be necessary at this point. Um, what do I have for food? Uh, well, we can use this. We have the spicy chicken roll. Might as well. All right, let's go. Totally forgot about that. Let's make the best of it. And touch your element. Wow. Look at all that experience. Damn, dude. If I had known that sooner, I would have freaking used it. So let's get one of these guys then. Ah, damn it. Thought I had you. Alrighty. I'll take care of you. Ah, oh, I broke your guard. Haha. -ha. I learned my ways of the tails. I like how fast Mila is. I, I really do. I appreciate how I appreciate her speed a lot. I might have to play her more. I mean, the majority of the playthrough I've been playing as Jude. I feel like I can do really well as Mila, though. I mean, this is her playthrough. Might as well do it. They bounce and get in the way. They're not big enough for that. I was talking about your headdress. <laughs> oh man, the innuendo with that comment. All right, let's fight a few more enemies and then we can move on. Sorry if I just hit my microphone there with my wire. I did not mean to. 
Damn, Rowan, why do you have no health? Alright. Oh, shit. Ah, crap. I forgot what my other moves are. Rowan, heal yourself, for God's sakes. Okay, whatever. If you're not gonna heal yourself, then I'll do it myself. Use... Bring you back to life. Or not bring you back to life, but... <laughs> Give back to full health, should I say. Uh, I'm gonna make myself faster. And we're gonna go ahead and get our HP up. And we'll just go this way. Because why not? Get our vitality up, get our stamina up, and our attack up. Bammo. And we're set. I think one more enemy, and we can go ahead and uh, do our thing. I think we have to go to the Jalen Woods, if I'm correct. Because that's where everyone would be. I mean, it'd be like the rendezvous point, in a way. So we'll just go ahead and see that. Of course, we're just going to kill these enemies. And Will you stop guarding, sir? Okay, perfect. That rip right through your guard. It's always nice. Alright. Oh, sweet. Got, a, got through his guard here. There we go. And Rowan leveled up. Sweet. Perfect. Whoops. Not what I wanted to do, game. Alright. What are we going to do for you? Increase your vit... Oh, you already have your vitality somewhat increased. Wait, hold on. Let me go to the orb one. Thank you very much, game. Oh. Well, that's okay. Go back to orb two then. We'll make you a bit. We'll make you a bit faster. You kind of need it anyway. And we'll go down HP. All right. Let's go to the Jalen Woods. It's probably the best thing we can do. Did I go through here already? I don't think I did. So let's go ahead and do that. Hey, a chest. Perfect. Seafood stew. Hey, man, I could go for a stew right now. It's freaking cold out here. <laughs> Coincidentally enough, because we're also in a very cold place here. I guess this is what we can call Canada for now. Despite all the dang Canadian jokes people make about me. Curse you guys. Alrighty. We're eight minutes into the video already. Well, no, actually, wow. Actually, I'm actually kind of surprised we're, that we're eight minutes into the video, and all we've been doing is fighting. That's crazy. Well, anyway, let's go ahead and do. Let's go ahead into this Jalen Woods. Where are we? Look, it's Campbellar's castle. Mila. You're okay! Mila! I missed you! Am I glad to see you? I'm so glad you're all safe. It's good to see you again. I wholeheartedly agree. Mila? Oh. Do I know you? I've never seen you before. Huh? Why, I am your elder sister. Sister? I don't have a sister. What's going on, Muse? This may be our first time speaking true. Yet we are both spirits born into this world at nearly the same time. Well, you definitely are a spirit. That much I can believe. <laughs> no need to be so suspicious. What could a spirit gain from impersonating your sister? You are Maxwell, after all. That's true, it wouldn't gain her anything. Why did you appear before Jude? <laughs> Be 
because you summoned me before him, or rather, your powerful feelings for him summoned me. Really? Could that even be possible? I don't know. I'll admit I've been hearing a voice in my dreams. Hold that thought. So, the information was correct. Attention. Attention. I am Gilland. You have my most sincere apologies for forcibly occupying your city. Please understand that subjugation is not our goal. Such extreme measures were only necessary to prevent an apocalyptic war between two superpowers. You have my word that we at Exodus will do all in our power to preserve your safety and your livelihood. We desire the same thing you do. Eternal peace, Aretha Maxia. I despise that man, Gilland. He promotes peace even as he uses Spyrex to hurt humans and spirit kind alike. We may have no choice but to eliminate him and his group. I agree. How will we do that? Those people have armored soldiers and flying ships and big cannons and... 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 Alvin, it's time you came clean. You should tell us everything you know. Alvin! I assume Gaius won't stand for this. He is inviting us in. Frankly, I'm surprised he even revealed himself to us. Maybe they're testing us? It's not a trap, is it? What are we waiting for? Let's go. What happened? I'm on the straight and narrow now. I promise. And why would we believe you this time? I have a score to settle with Gillen. Let me be the one to finish him off. If I betray you again, you have my permission to run me through with that sword of yours. So let me come with you. And if I refuse? Then I'll kill him on my own. Very well. Thanks. I appreciate it. We have to find out what Gaius is planning. Yeah. <coughs> Sorry about the cut there. Um, well... It said that we could play as Muse and summon her in battle. Too bad she's not Does like a playable character like she is in Zillia. Shut up! Too bad she's not a playable character like she is in Zillia too. Otherwise, I would be playing her as. Uh, I, I, I would be having her in my party because she is kind of decent. Um, I wouldn't say she's amazing though, but yeah. Anyway, I'm not. I'm not gonna go into more detail if Zillia too. Um, you can wait for a future LP of that game at some point. Now, uh, for arts, uh, let's see. What are we doing for arts? Doing fine? Yeah, we are. I'm gonna play as Mila throughout the whole, the rest of the thing, I think. I'm gonna make this official. Oh my lord. You will have 17 orbs that you have not used yet. I will fix that. I don't really care for what I use them on. Though, Alvin really needs to be faster. Because he's kind of sluggish. But everyone's all leveled up and nice now. Alright, so we have Alvin's a food vendor over weird. here. So, let's go over here. Let's talk to this guy. And, uh, should we buy some food or some armor? I'm gonna buy some armor. We haven't bought armor in a while, so I figured let's go ahead and do that. Um. So, let's just do this. Uh, I'm thinking either armor or, uh, uh, armor or 
weapons. What is more beneficial in, at this point? Hmm. I think weapons, actually. I want to do more damage, so... At this point, I'm not all that worried about having defense, because I already have good defense in itself. Although that boss did give me a run for my money. But that boss is just a straight-up asshole. So we're going to go ahead and... Uh, Buying armor. I'm buying weapons, you, you derp. Derp of a game. Alright, Savage Flare, Vortex End. Let's see. Let's put this... Uh, that's a water uh, weapon. I don't really need that. That's an upgraded weapon of what you have. And Vortex Flame, Fountain Rod... Uh, hmm. Well, I guess that was worth it. <laughs> we do, however, need to sell these because we don't we don't need these anymore. These two, why not? Oh, no, actually, let's not sell that. But I will sell this crap. Gives us money. And, uh, let's see. I don't want to give you this because I damn well know that, like, because it's an elemental weapon, and elemental weapons are kind of useless at this part. Actually, no. In this area, I, I, actually, it's kind of a good idea, so we'll buy the Mako, put it on you, and uh, we're good. I'm trying to be smart with stuff here. And we have plenty of money to spend. Let's buy some light bottles. Figured we need these. Um, and why not? It's not. I, I don't want to go too crazy, but I think we're good. Yeah, why the hell not? You just get the melange gel. Alrighty. And oh, grab this too. Big horn. All right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and play this skit, and then we'll continue on with our next area. Everyone sure has gotten stronger. Especially you. You've really improved. I appreciate the increased strength, but I worry I'm bulking up too much. Never took you for one to care. Of course. The Lord of Spirits needs a suitable vessel. Better to be toned than to be out of shape. Totally. Strength is beauty. I think it's a good look. Buff Mila is the best Mila. <laughs> Well, if everyone thinks so, maybe I will try to tone up a bit more. Do it, Mila! Yoked out bazongas! Okay, yoked out bazongas! I'm not sure you'd want that. Oh, God. That reminds me of another sk skit later on that you'll hear. Um, oh, we got another skit here that we'll listen to. Certainly is I don't know. Shut up! <laughs> I don't know if this is uh, the skit, I but guess. we'll play it anyway. All right, so here we go. I have you to thank for saving Jude. Not at all. Jude was quite a help to me. Thanks to his direct tethering with me, I was able to recharge much of my lost mana. Jude, you direct tethered with her? Uh, yeah, Muse asked me to. Was that bad? <laughs> bad? It's, uh, Direct tethering is something a spirit and a human do when, uh, uh... Since we were together constantly, he was able to fill me with loads of mana. I... I had no idea you were that kind of man. Mila, wait! Why is she so angry? My... I can't believe you'd ask me to explain that to you. Do you just want to hear me say it? Is that what you're into? Someone tell me what is going on with these spirits. Uh-oh. Jude's sexually attracting spirits now, apparently. Oh, oh, we got another skit here. Hey, Alvin, why is Tipo always talking about bazongas? What does that even mean? Oh, he finally asks. It seems you're ready to take the first steps towards becoming a man. Why do you have to make everything so weird? Forget I even asked. Bazongas are the burning fire at the heart of manhood. 
<sighs> Rowan? Jude, there are times to play it cool, but a man who fears his own passions is no man at all. Yes, exactly what I was trying to say. I'm not even sure I know what we're talking about. Then you will never know Bazongas. You have to want it, Jude. You have to need it. Then teach me about Bazongas. I can barely hear you. You have to mean it. <gasps> teach me about Bazongas! Whoa! Don't go shouting things like that! Don't scold him, Leia. I read about this in a book. It's called Puberty. We're supposed to be understanding and supportive. Mm -hmm. Don't hate us. There's no shame in being burned by the fire of manhood. Oh, man. That was the skit that I was talking about. Oh, man. I love that skit so damn much. But anyway, enough laughing about how ridiculous that is. Let's actually go continue with the plot line. You've come. So in the end, you've chosen to trust that man. You're more naive than I thought, Maxwell. Tell us what your purpose is for bringing us here. We will stand and fight against those... invaders. If you intend to challenge them yourselves, we won't attempt to stop you. But first, there's something you need to tell us. I want you to tell us what you know about the schism. What's that? Two millennia ago, I cast the spirit art, Schism. It created a new world and sealed it away. That world is yours. It is known as Riza Maxia. Did Mila just say... that she created the entire world? Wow! She's like a goddess or something! It was for protecting spirits and humans. Riza Maxia is sealed. That implies the existence of another world outside the Schism, does it not? Yes. And that world is called Olympias. I was gravely mistaken about the Lance of Kresnik's true purpose. Exodus convinced Noctigal that it was a weapon but all along they were plotting to create a device that would dispel the schism. Dispel the schism? To what end? I do not know. I wonder if perhaps they were looking for a means to siphon mana back to Olympias. No. All Exodus ever wanted was to go home. Back home to Olympias. It's all we've wanted for more than 20 years since we became trapped in Riza Maxia. We needed to find a way to either break through the schism or dispel it completely. But in order to dispel the schism, they would have to find a way to eliminate its creator. I see. So that's why Exodus kept trying to kill you. It doesn't add up. What is Gillen's master plan? I'm confused. I still don't understand. Gillen's actions are not going to get Exodus home any faster. He didn't need to bring the whole Olympian army. In unifying Riza Maxia, that was never our original intention. Gillen must intend to make use of Riza Maxia with the schism intact, but for what purpose? That's it. The Otherworld Reactor Plan. What? Huh? The hell's that? 
Most folks knew it as the Spirit Fuel Plan. That sounds bad. I remember my cousin telling me about it, when I was still a kid back on the other side. Something about capturing spirits and using them as fuel for Spyrexes. So you're saying Gillen's ultimate goal is to corral all the spirits? But that doesn't make sense either. If all he wants is spirits, then why bother with the lies? Unless... He's planning on trapping us in Rize Maxia for our mana lobes. He seeks to use the people of Rize Maxia as a power source? The man is insane. Gilland most likely returned to Exodus HQ on the ocean. The Olympian army is with him, so getting there by boat won't be easy. Well then, perhaps we can commandeer one of the flying ships they have docked at Campbellar. Oh yeah, right. Because that sounds easy. It may indeed be our only option. Very well. We attack tomorrow. Wait a minute, Gaius. Aren't we gonna team up on this? I mean, we both want the same thing. So... It's not a social gathering. Just how stupid are you anyway? It was Maxwell who created the schism, and trapped us all inside of it in the first place. Imprisonment is not so easily forgiven. It's entirely possible. We may end up fighting each other again. I'm sure you can understand why we're not ready to get all buddy-buddy with you. Like I said, do what you want. Just make sure to stay out of our way. Can you believe it? The nerve of those guys! They must be shorthanded. Why else would they share that kind of information with us? Despite what they said, I still believe that they are counting on all of us. For now, at least. Well, things are soon to be added up, but for now, I'm going to go ahead and see you guys next time for another episode of Tales of Zillion. You guys have yourself a good night, and I am off.